So we are given a electric field which in the space is varying by this function of x and y. We need to find the flux of, a, of the vector E through a sphere which is kept at origin and its radius is r. So electric field is given so let's do by method 1 which I like. So electric field is this. So if you break this into root of x square plus y square and root of x square plus y square you can write it like this. Now this I can write as r in this cylindrical coordinates. So if this is x this is y for any point on this cylinder this r is root of x square plus y square. And x i cap plus y j cap upon root of x square plus y square is r cap. So it is r vector by its magnitude which is a unit vector in its direction. So this is the electric field which is given a r cap by r which I am representing in this diagram as this. Now if you remember the electric field due to a long straight wire is 2 k lambda by r and its direction is also radial if you consider the wire at the z axis. So you can see that this electric field is similar to this. Forget about the constants but otherwise the direction is same and both are inversely proportional to the distance from the axis which means this electric field is generated by a current carrying sorry by a, by a charged long wire. So what is the charge density on that wire? You just compare the constants. So A is equal to 2k lambda which means lambda is equal to A by 2k. So this wire here which is not shown but it is there that's why we are getting this field. The lambda on that wire is A by 2k. Now by Gauss law flux through a sphere should be Q in by epsilon. So this is the long wire and you can if you have a sphere of radius r you can see that charge enclosed will be lambda times 2r. So this becomes lambda into 2r by epsilon and if you put the value of lambda here you will get your answer. So here just imagine if instead of electric field he had given you that you have a charge carrying sorry a charge carrying wire then what is the flux passing through the sphere you would have done it in 2 seconds directly 2r into lambda divided by epsilon that would have been your answer. But here instead of telling that it's a wire he has given an electric field generated due to that wire. So you have to think opposite sometimes. If electric field is given you need to think this electric field came from where. So it came from a straight wire so then our problem became very simple. However we are going to do it with standard solution also where we don't need to imagine anything. So electric field is given as this and we are, we are given a sphere. So let's take a small element on that sphere and let its location be x, y, z. So ds vector, the area vector on that sphere will be the magnitude times the unit vector along r. So that will be x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap divided by root of this. And root of x square plus y square plus z square on any point on this sphere is r. So this simplifies and becomes this. So now we can calculate the flux through that small area ds that should be e dot ds. So we do that and when we do the dot product, the dot product of k cap will become 0 with both i and j. So what you will get is x square plus y square which will get cancelled and you will get flux 
as integral of this d phi which is a by r integral of ds so integral of ds over the whole sphere is 4 pi r square which becomes 4 pi a r which is same as our answer here so know both the methods you never know which one you are going to use